ladies and gentlemen welcome to another WMG video in today's video I will be featuring um, an interesting topic how can you farm for this this is um, a currency that every player is is really looking looking to look for um, it's abundant in the game it's uh it's uh, i think our main currency that we're uh, that we're using as as players but my question is where can you consistently farm this uh which part of the game can you farm this on a daily basis weekly basis and on a monthly basis so to start off but before we start please like and subscribe and we'll start the video so for your daily zest, daily zest can be can be achieved or daily zest can be farmed through your daily quests. I've completed my daily quest, but <clears throat> for your daily quest, um, if you have unlocked all of the stages or the chapters that is needed for your daily quest, you will get around fifty six. Um, zest maximum per day so that's one that can you that you can farm zest on a daily basis number two would be your air squadron attendance so you have to check your attendance here every day um, to get a maximum of 10 zest the third one would be your diary your diary is um, divided into three parts you have your daily weekly and achievement but your daily will yield you around i think this is around 30 zest so that's a total of uh, 96 zest uh, daily already which is uh if you multiply it by 30 30 days you will get um a monthly zest uh farm of 2880 monthly so let's move on to our weekly so for your weekly um weekly uh, farming of zest there are certain stages of the game that you can farm it weekly um, the first would be your pvp so for your pvp you could as a as an average player you usually could reach challenger level like for example this account of mine um i think i'm already at challenger one oh, sorry challenger three but the last week i was able to reach challenger one which gave me 1,050 1, zest so uh, on average most players could reach this even for free to play players um the next would be your for your weekly zest would be your battle so for your battle um for for beginners and mid game players you can expect to have an average of 500 zest here so uh your battle is also weekly uh but you have daily battles but at the end of the week um you get zest for for placing for your placement in this um, in this uh, battle feature the next would be your embodiment of avarice so same with your battle your embodiment of avarice is um, is pretty much uh, a weekly reward and for this one you have to rank up players with the same element it's based on the combat power of your of your of your characters which gives you these rewards but the weekly re ranking reward gives you this so the last the last reward that i got for this was only 120 so pretty much low but normally if you if you have um if if you're a mid game player you you usually would yield around uh, 500 cents for this one let's 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 use the uh, the average numbers for this one the average um, um, the average count that you would receive 
as a player. So we'll peg it at a 500. So for your diary, again, you if we go back to your diary, you will get around 250 for your weekly. So this is another another weekly source for your zest. So if you total the everything for the week, you will be getting around 2,300 zest for the week and you times it by four, which is four weeks. And on a monthly basis, you'll be getting 9,200 zest. Okay. And for our last category, uh, it's going to be your monthly zest sources, which is your U Pierce Labyrinth. As an average player, um, I think you'd be able to to finish up to maze three or four. But to 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 play it safe, um, U Pierce Labyrinth is a bit um, character dependent, depending on the, the 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 characters that you've leveled up. Um, same with the chapters and the challenges. So it. Clearing these stages would depend on the availability of of the characters that you have. So let's peg it at around. Um, if if you're an average player, you you clear this at uh, maze three. So for maze three, um, that's a total of nine hundred zes per month. So that's not bad, but um, I would suggest that you try to build your roster also uh, to, towards this content. Because um, for Maze 4 and 5, um, the Zest would be 200 and 250 respectively. So that would be a big bump in your in your monthly Zest if you could reach Maze 5 for all the paths or the, all the columns that uh, Pierce Labyrinth has. The next one would be your Attendance Book. Your Attendance Book is a monthly source for Zest. Uh, it's your check. It's your it's your login reward. So it's a constant. Um, it's usually a constant amount of zest. You will be getting 1,400 zest for this content. And uh, even if you renew it for the next month, uh, it would usually be the same. So let's peg it at 1,400. Um, all in all, if you total. Um, all the daily, weekly, and monthly sets that you'll be getting. From my calculation, I think I have 14,380. So that's not bad for a monthly monthly farming of Zest. It will just take time, especially if you're a free-to-play player that is relying so much on farming. I think this um, focusing on focusing on leveling your characters for each content would really help your zest farming and would would increase the amount that you that you'll be farming eventually so um, after this um, you also have other options for zest these are these are basically optional sources The devs would would probably introduce other sources of zest, but for probably up for the meantime, these are your sources of zest. Um, I was kind of I was kind of disappointed when when they had to redo U Pierce Labyrinth because when I began playing the game, um, U Pierce Labyrinth was very easy. It gave me a lot of zest, which which I was able to farm a lot of, but when they revamped Pierce Labyrinth it became harder and they gave away a lot of zest. So I hope the devs would, would find a way on how to to give us more sources of zest in which we could farm, especially for our free-to-play players. Because um, I know it's it's hard for free-to-play players to compete at a high level without good characters and more if they don't um, you know they won't have enough zest to summon for good characters and again that's all i have for you today guys take care everyone and i'll see you in the next video